one of the, the areas that I've been interested in personally and in the last few years more so uh, my clients professionally is this notion of personal knowledge management. How the heck do I make sense of things? And that is, you, you know, when I was talking about working at down, you know, at the worker level, a core part of that is helping people develop their own personal knowledge management processes because there is no single process how to do it. How do I manage my own bandwidth? Right? How do I, I mean, filtering and, and bookmarking and aggregators and all and, and blogs and wikis and tags and all that kind of stuff are wonderful. Uh, but you're but but we only have so many hours in the day. Right. And uh, so 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 how, how do I uh, how, do, how do I make those decisions on what's important or what's not important? You know, look at that book, Getting Things Done. Right. I mean, that's what the guy talked about was setting a setting up a system. Another another book that just came out was this the checklist manifesto. Same kind of thing is developing checklists to get things done. So uh, so I think that that more and more. I mean, one I mean, one area that, that the learning and development field has not capitalized on very well at all is performance support systems. Yes, we have them, uh, but we really don't have good methodologies to develop them. We don't have very, very good, uh, you know, other than building a software wizard, which for the most part is crap. Um, we, we don't even have good tools to, to build performance support tools. And that's one place I think that we've been missing out. I think there's a lot of potential there is in helping people make uh, learning cockpits or work or, or, or being able to customize the, uh, their, their, their knowledge tools to be able to get things done better. But the, now, now the, and that's where the apps, I think, have got a, a lot of people are doing, you know, they're, they're customizing their, their, their mobile phone with apps. And they've got, there are a lot of apps that let people do, uh, you know, single types of tasks, right? Whether it's a reminder or a checklist or, you know, you know, all those little tools, the 99 cent kinds of things. So I think that's where we're going to see, still see a lot more happen is in, is in those kinds of very specific small tools that really take very little to learn and will help me just do one thing better, faster, cheaper.